Okay, I'm making fishing noodles for catfish. I've got 15 inches of PVC. I'll turn around the light here. And I've got half inch PVC. I'm putting caps on each end. I've got the bottom cap has got a swivel on the bottom of it with a uh, kind of like an eye bolt that goes up through it, a round hook. I bent them out, put the uh, swivel on. And in here, the screw actually comes up through the end of the cap, so I put some uh, glue in there. And the glue that I use is Gorilla Glue. And what you do is you put a piece of about a five inch piece of rebar in here and it slides to the right end and you lay it in the water and it floats. And on the left hand side when the fish pulls this thing down the rebar slides to the bottom and then it floats up and down in the water and you know it that you've got a fish when it's floating up and down like this. Um, I was thinking that the cap, since the um, screw sticks up, that the rebar might knock the screw back down through the plastic or crack the plastic. So I'm taking these little bolts or these little nuts and I'll let you see what happens here when I drop one in. It just drops in and it floats down. And I'm taking a little drill bit and just kind of mashing the thing down to seat it. And then, once I get those in there, I'm going to come back and add a little more glue to go around the top and make sure it completely covers the bolt. That way, when it all dries, Whenever that rebar comes down and hits, it's not hitting the screw. So, another thing I've heard from other people on the internet is that whenever they would put the screw in and not put Gorilla Glue, that they would get water inside of their noodle. Now, what you got to do is you've got to put uh, PVC glue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use cleaner. I'm going to put cleaner on this end. Then put the glue on and slide the cap on. So the bottom cap is going to go on here with your swivel. That way if the catfish is on there and he's turning, your line's not getting wrapped up. Over here, I've bought some more items here. I've got uh, number 60, 300 foot of number 60. Um, it says that, uh, well, this is what I'm going to use for the main line. I'm, I'm probably going to put about 30 feet in the lake that I'm fishing, Cherokee Lake. You can use one hook. So I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to take the line, I'm going to come up, I'm going to tie a knot here, and then I'm going to put uh, a leader coming I'm going to put a, a swivel tie another knot about that far on the back side of the swivel so that the swivel can move back and forth a little bit up and down the line then I'm coming out with my line and putting my hook out about 12 inches out to the side um, I've used uh, or I'm using uh, these black swivels for the line that's going down and I've got my hooks here let me get the hooks out sorry about the shaky video but I'm going to use a number five aught circle hook and we're probably going to be using uh, bluegill for these uh, jugs I guess you would call them a jug line um, but I've put together 21. I've cut three 
pieces from each of noodle that I got at the dollar store. I went and bought the caps. I bought the uh, PVC. And for 21, I think I've got with all the hooks um, and everything, I think I've got about a hundred and sixty dollars in everything. But uh, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. One more thing, I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom. I'm tired of my jugs blowing all over the lake and not being able to find them. So I went out and bought these lead weights uh, for a dollar a piece and I'm going to drill a hole through the end, tie the line, and I'm going to put probably around 30 feet. I'm going to, I've got two rolls of this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the footage of exactly how many feet I have and divide it by 21 and see exactly how many feet I can get for each one. But you're going to have, this is going to be on the bottom. You're going to be coming up. I might put a swivel up about three or four feet from the bottom and then put another swivel about three or four feet down from the noodle. That way, if I want to put a hook on the bottom and fish bottom, I can fish bottom. Or if I want to fish up on the top, I can fish at the top. Uh, since you're only allowed one hook, I'll, I'll have the option to fish bottom or top with this. But I just wanted to do a video and show you guys what I was doing here and how I'm putting this uh, cap together before this uh, uh, actually got put all together and put on so you wouldn't be able to see it later on. But I think this is uh, having that little bolt or that little nut in there is going to work out good and uh, I think we're going to be able to catch some fish on these things. Another thing um, on these caps, you can get the uh, fluorescent tape, put the fluorescent tape around the end, and if you're out fishing at night, you're going to see a cap on this end and a cap on this end. When you slide the uh, rebar to this side, you're going to, at night, you would see two reflectors, and then if the fish hits, pulls it down, you're going to see one reflection when you shine your light out. And on this um, float, I'm going to put my TWRA number, which is, it's either your phone number and address or TWRA number. So I'm going to write TWRA in big letters and then write the number. And that way, when someone goes out and looks at it, they might think it's actually something that TWRA has going on. They might not mess with it. But you know how that goes. I've heard stories of people sitting over people's jugs and stealing their fish. So I'm hoping to detour anyone from stealing uh, the fish off of these things. Or I might just put uh, GPS, TWRA, and put the number. And that way they might think it's GPS tracked or something, you know, and, and not mess with it. So uh, until next time, uh, we'll get back with another video and uh, show you how these things work. Maybe we'll get a video of these things in action. Thank you.